But I don't think I would be able to get my stuffed animal in this. Like, <laughs> my waist is way bigger than this. <laughs> See, like, I could barely get my shoulder in this joint. <laughs> up shorties it's your girl ice nation and i'm back at it again with the black at it again and you already know that at it again ah, so i'm sure you've already read the description of this video you already know what we got we got a review a review a review 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 what it is though what is up? Do you know what's in this box? No, you don't, cause it's real locked. There's nothing on the outside of the box. Skins review, skins review. You can't see what's on the box because skims, listen, Kimberly, Kardashian West must know that I still live in the hood and I don't need boxes full of labels being delivered to me because I don't need nobody to try to take my package right from David's hand. David is my UPS guy and Skims delivers UPS to my house. So yeah, I don't need nobody trying to take no packages out of David's hand. So thank God they don't put Skims all over the damn box. I'm just really glad to be doing this Skims review with y'all because no shade. I be seeing a lot of reviews on YouTube from the girls and it's upsetting me and my homegirl, like literally me and Ashley, we really feel like it's kind of misleading to see the review titles be Skims for curvy girls. And then I watched a video five minutes in and I realized that these bitches got Brazilian butt lifts. They got their tummy sucked out and they don't have thighs like mine that can get into some Skims shapewear. So <laughs> I wanted to be sure to do my own review for Skims so that y'all can see what it looked like on an everyday body. I have an everyday body. Yes, I just got my boobs done. So I have a new chest, but I have a very stubborn fupa. It's about this big, literally like this big, and I hate it. And I have these really, really big thighs. And sometimes I just can't get into stuff. Like I'm not, I I'm not slim thick, I'm thick, right? I'm not fat, I'm not plus size, but I'm thick. Like I'm a medium. But in pants, I'm like a 10. Zara jeans, definitely a 12. Because you know they make them for skinny people. And gap, like I'm a 10. Sweats, depends, medium, large. Leggings, medium, large. So I got the body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. But <laughs> sometimes I just can't fit stuff. So I wanted to get some skims because now that I've gotten like my breast reduction I just feel a whole lot more confident to be honest like it's brought this like new wave of confidence you know listen we're not even gonna get into it I mean like it's something about buying new clothes buying new underwear being able to fit in things a little bit better that just makes you feel really good about yourself and me personally this past year has been a lot like like after the breast reduction, like y'all may know, my boyfriend and I broke up. So I was definitely sad girl vibes, feeling very low self-esteem about myself, thinking like I'm not good enough. I don't look good enough. And so, you know, I just feel a lot more happy about myself and how I look. So I'm so glad that I could fit into some skins and let's get right into it. So I'm going to do an unboxing and I'm going to talk about the items that I bought from Skims. Um, 
I bought two orders. The first order, I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy this order of Skims. Then within three days, Kim Kardashian drops the Skims Jelly Sheer collection. So I bought a bunch of things from the Jelly Sheer collection and like I bought a bra for my mom, like another bra, that kind of stuff. So they're like two different styles. What I did buy from Skims was um, I bought from their uh, Fit Everybody collection. I bought from their loungewear collection, which is like those like boxer brief tank kind of vibes. Y'all will see. And um, I bought from the Jelly Sheer collection. So from three different collections. Um, that she offers now the thing about skims I feel like there needs to be some work when it comes to marketing because I feel like us as customers are just kind of confused like is it shapewear slash solution wear or is it loungewear because pretty much all of the things that I got are not shapewear like they give me a little like Kim Kardashian cinch in my waist but it doesn't actually make me feel confident in my fupa area which is where my biggest insecurity is right now and so i don't know if it's actually shapewear i think when she first came out with the brand it was very heavily targeted about shapewear but as it evolved it became more of a loungewear and if you kind of think about it skims is very similar to yeezy season one and two which is like luxury loungewear like nice leggings all of that jazz so I think that's what they're moving into the direction of. Anyway, let's get into it. So this is the box, just a regular box. You open it, it says Skims on it. I like how like eco-friendly Skims are, um, like with their packaging. So when you open the box, you get this like cute, you get this cute little packaging, it's upside down and it has like pictures of it and then all of the things inside. They're able to fit a lot in these little boxes, so I'm really impressed actually. So here we have the cute little packaging and it says, I am not plastic, I am compostable, made from plants. I will bio, what? I will. <laughs> I will biodegrade in your home compost. Hello, we like compost. Okay, I live in the hood, but I'm trying to like bring in the luxury vibes because when I move from here, I'm going to have to start recycling. So I'm already like getting prepared for it. Um, and an industrial compost facility. So this is really nice. They're really eco-friendly. I like that. Um, it tells you Spanish and English and all of the um, skin stuff pretty much comes in these little packages. So right here we have a bralette and like everything is just fits so cutely in these little bags. Okay, so I'm gonna like fully unbox and I'm gonna talk you through everything that I got. And um, I'm going to shift over to the side so that you can see me pop up on the screen. Um, and try some of these things on so i got this bandeau this is the this is like the fit everybody bandeau in what they call onyx the color onyx which is like black but honestly it looks like charcoal gray i love this so much this is my favorite like it holds my breasts so well like i love 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 this so much like i i can jump i can do jumping jacks in this like the elastic is really nice i wish so the elastic at the bottom the bottom half is actually like for me stronger than the one at the top and i wish that they were the same because I feel like I don't want it to fall down or anything. I want it to be tight all around. So moving on, I bought these boy shorts. They are like super cotton. They are, yeah, cotton, I guess. Um, and really, really stretchy. I love these so much. 
they are really really stretchy i love these so much so i like actually just got my first brazilian wax like a week ago and i put these on immediately because they're really really soft um and that's what you are supposed to wear like after you have a brazilian so these are like my favorite i also bought like a scoop neck bra but i have it on because i love it so much the only thing that i will say about this bra that i don't like is on the side there is like a little tab here i'll like explain it on this basically it's not on this but if you can see this little seam right here so this little seam right here it's a lot more thicker on the um scoop neck fit everybody bra and it kind of digs into my skin because i got a little fat on the side and it be poking me a little bit but <laughs> i deal with it because i really like how like nice and compressed this bra is like it holds me really nice for it to be a bralette it's doing the damn thing so i definitely love this okay skims okay what did we get next next i got the cotton rib uh collection so i got the boxer shorts and the tank top now here's my thing about this this is really really cute i wish i had got it in it's like really stretchy the band is really nice this is like this is like men boxer brief band okay like this is nice i wish i would have gotten it in another color though because white gets dirty really fast so that's one um but two i feel like if i would have gotten it in black i would have felt more sexier in it because like i mentioned before these little elastic bands that skims does around the waist are really nice like for the cinching but it don't have no fupa control at all so i like my fupa shows more in this than anything else so i feel like if i had it in black like i would have been okay with the fupa but right now I'm not really feeling it so yeah but these are so cute <laughs> they fit me so cute they're very stretchy I love them and I'm definitely thinking about getting a different color that's just more flattering for me and that'll last long because I feel like white will get dingy over time and I don't like that like I don't own a lot of white shirts t-shirts and stuff because I wear a lot of makeup and once it gets dingy like i'm kind of not feeling it anymore so i don't i don't deal with the white but i totally love it like it's cute um i do think that the price point of these were not my friend because i just feel like for a tank top like 36 i think it was dollars for a tank top is not ideal but i am aware that this is luxury loungewear so i have to keep that in mind but definitely cute and when i told my mom that i was like really iffy about it she was like girl it looks so cute like you should just get another color and you'll probably like it a lot better so that's what i'm gonna do lastly from this order i got <laughs> i got the skims so uh, the skims sculpting short above the knee and Kim, now Kim, you know I love you to death, but I don't think I would be able to get my stuffed animal in this. Like, literally, I swear I tried to put this on three times, and on the third time, it was just either it's me getting into this or me breaking a nail, and mm -mm. like... <sighs> my waist is way bigger than this <laughs> i can't fit in here my thighs like i cannot get them in here and so i'm kind of confused i got the right size that they told me i should get i'm no big big person so this is a large extra large it should fit but there's no way like i could barely get my shoulder in this joint <laughs> So I don't know, like maybe I might need to order another one. Maybe they sent me the wrong size or something, but this 
I couldn't even get on. So it's definitely a no. <laughs> but um, I liked all the other things. Getting right into the second order, same box, but it's actually thinner on the side because the Jelly Sheer collection is sheer. <laughs> and actually I didn't realize how sheer it is and this is going back to me saying skims need to work on marketing because I feel like on Instagram all of the models on Instagram that are wearing the jelly sheer collection you don't see nipples you don't see vagina like none of that like everything is covered up every single thing is covered up I don't see nipples period and in this jelly sheer collection there's a lot of nipples and um it's very see-through and i i guess that it's my fault for buying it because literally it says what it is jelly sheer so it's slinky and sheer but on instagram it doesn't look sheer it looks actually solid so i was very surprised to see that it was really sheer and i'll get into it so from the jelly sheer collection i got the scoop neck bralette so this bralette I got because it's similar to the one that I have on. The only thing about the one that I have on, it's adjustable and this one isn't. And like I said, very, very, very sheer, very sheer, but it fits. It's really, really soft. I love this material. It's like, it's very buttery. Like, I can't lie. Like this, oh, it's so nice. It's really nice. So I can't lie. I do like the Jelly Sheer collection, but I honestly feel like the Jelly Sheer collection could have easily be blended into their Valentine's Day collection that they came out with today. So, yeah. Um, this are, these are the shorts. So, that's another thing, like I'm saying, like, I'm confused about whether, what are these shorts supposed to do? Because um, around the waist, they give me the cinching, but they don't like they give me the cinching but it doesn't do any fupa control in the midsection area so i'm kind of like what are these shorts for they are very see-through but again they look good i mean if i had a man <laughs> i guess you know like it's cute but yeah so because i really liked the jelly sheer collection oh i thought that i was really gonna like it and that it wasn't gonna be as see-through as it was i actually bought um like a lot of the jelly sheer collection like i bought the same shorts in black but like i said very see-through like very very see-through but very stretchy i can get myself in them i was very scared that i would like um like put a run in it because of how like how the fabric is i really thought that i was gonna rip it but i didn't so i'm really happy that i didn't like because my nails um so yeah then i got um their unlined underwire bra in what they call the poppy color and i got a 34d i just got my breast reduction so i'm this is like my first underwire bra and i love it I love this bra so much. Love, 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 love. But it's so sheer, like. It's so sheer. But I mean, what I figured is nobody has to know that it's see-through underneath my clouds. But it's so sheer, but it holds me so well. It's so stretchy. The fabric is really nice. It's comfortable. These um this underline like it's really like light and like it feels flimsy but it's strong and i like the gold detailing it's just like it's a really nice moment it's a really nice bra i really do like the jelly sheer collection i just wish that it wasn't actually sheer so i'm hoping that they will eventually offer her underline bra which are not sheer normally in the poppy color because i do like the poppy color um or in just other colors in general i ended up buying another underwire bra because like i said this is my first un um underwire bra 
since my breast reduction so I wasn't sure about the size and I got a 34C in the black color and it completely did not fit so we got a loss out of this out of this batch of clothes definitely got a loss out of this batch of clothes but I also bought um <laughs> I love the bandeau so much that I actually bought it in a light gray color too and yeah just so tight so nice like I cannot wait for the summertime to be walking around in high-waisted jeans in these bandos with like a little a little like shirt a little shirt tie it so I'm really excited about this so that's all that I got overall I really love skims like it's nice it's luxury it's a little pricey but I feel like treat yourself like for me like all I've ever wanted was to be able to fit in nice like shapewear and bodywear and undergarments and I couldn't I had to buy stuff that wasn't really to my liking because nothing fit my chest and now I can wear whatever I want so I love the fact that skims is giving women confidence I love the fact that they are so diverse in their campaigns and they have women of all flavors they're like Baskin Robbins 31 flavors <laughs> all shapes and sizes it's beautiful to see I love the skims brand I just think that marketing wise they need to figure out what is it is it solution wear is it shapewear is it loungewear is it all three and if it is all three how do you highlight that in a good way because i feel like when skims first came out it was so like big on it being shapewear fajas girdles suck you in and now it's really really big on loungewear which is really popular right now and it feels like people are confused about if this the loungewear is also supposed supposed to make you look good and it's supposed to make your fupa not feel like it's there and things like that and for me that's not what it's doing it's cute but it's not making me feel like i ain't got no fupa so my fupa insecurity is still there but the clothes are cute and they're sexy and they make me feel confident and i like that so i think they just need to figure that part out but skims is a new brand this is like their second year so they have a lot more growing to do um so i love them i can't wait to see what new things that they come out with i feel like they drop in a new thing every week and i'll be wanting every single thing thankfully they have afterpay so i can get whatever i want <laughs> but overall i love skims i do want to try out their waffle collection but i mean ethically morally i'm like it looks like long johns it looks like it looks like thermals so i am gonna buy a piece one piece but i'm hoping that it's not gonna feel like thermals i'm hoping that it's gonna be way softer just like some of the reviews that i watched and then we'll see we'll go from there but overall love skims you should buy some if you haven't if you want to try some if you have more comments or questions about the things that i bought and want to know a little bit more details about how it feels and all of this stuff please drop me a comment give me a like hit the subscribe button because you already know that that i'm going to give you what you need you know i'm going to give you what you need follow me on instagram you already know ice ice nation and yeah skims is great Good job, Kim. That concludes this Skims review for curvy girls, okay? The Skims review for thick girls with FUPA. Like I said, make sure to comment below if you have any questions about how things fit, any comments, or just wanna chat about Skims. Follow me on Instagram at Ice Nation. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, love y'all. Bye, shawties. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, boom, boom, you make the woman go like, boom, the be was, and be a boy, fading the sounds of my body. I'm on tonight, you know, my hips don't lie, and I'm trying to feel the boy. It's attraction, attention, feeling this is perfection. <laughs>